Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on an Edward the Emu inspired drawing. An emu is a huge type of bird, only slightly smaller than an ostrich, and lives in Australia. And Edward is an emu who gets bored of being in the zoo and wants to try some different things. So we're going to draw an adorable little emu with lots of bright colorful feathers kind of going all over the place. So here's how we're going to start. You need a large white piece of paper, you need a pencil, possibly a Sharpie, and then any sort of coloring materials you want. This will work with crayons, color pencils, markers, pretty much anything. All right, let's get started. First off, I'm going to be drawing the eyes of my bird, and I'm gonna make them kind of big. I'm gonna put them higher up on the page because I do want room for a neck and some other things. Um, eyes can really look however you want. I'm gonna start with two big sort of round circles maybe kind of ovally even and now that I have my big circles I'm going to do another circle inside of it and it's going to be a little bit off center yours could be right in the middle if you want I'm going to show you how to do another set of eyes different way if you'd like and then I'm going to draw a couple little circles inside that so we have the big circle we have a medium circle, and then we have a couple little circles in there as well. This is gonna look more like eyes in just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna do the beak, and I'm gonna put that right below the eyes. I'm gonna do a curve like this, so an upside down U, or a rainbow type of shape. Then I'm going to, at the ends of my little rainbow arch, I'm gonna draw a line that goes out to the side and another one that goes out to the side. I'm going to curve in at the ends like this. And then I'm gonna make a mark at the bottom, like a little dot. And that's gonna tell me where to have my lines go to connect. And now I'm gonna do another line starting in one corner and I'm going to have it closely follow and go back up to the other end. That's the opening of the beak. And then he's got some nostrils. Those are like teardrop shapes. So they're pointed at the top and bigger at the bottom. And that's actually all I really need to draw for now. Now we're going to take our Sharpie, or if you don't have a Sharpie, you can use a black marker or a dark colored pencil, or just press really hard with your pencil so that it's a lot darker. But I'm going to outline what I did, and I'm going to color in this circle, this medium circle right here. So the big circle is going to stay white. These little tiny circles are going to stay white, but this part's going to get colored in. And now it looks a lot more like an eyeball. And those little tiny white circles are there for highlights. Once you're done outlining, you can stop right here or perhaps you might want to add maybe some like fun little eyelashes or something to your bird so you can leave your bird the way it is. Or if you want to, you can add a few little lashes off the end of the bird, near the top, or near the bottom, or both. But that's optional. You could leave the eyes perfectly normal if you'd like to. Okay, I erased any pencil marks. Let me zoom out for a second so you can see how big this face is on my actual full sheet of paper. Okay, so here we have a lot of blank space all over my paper and we have just the eyes and the beak right here in the middle. What we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some texture and we're going to be adding a lot of texture using whatever color materials you decide to use. So if you want to use crayons, if you want to use color pencils or markers, I'm going to use crayons for this um, but I am going to show you another version really quick at the end of the video that shows you color pencil and maybe even some marker just so you can see some variety. And what we're going to do is you're going to pick some colors. I wouldn't recommend picking all the colors. That's going to be a little bit too crazy. But pick some colors that you can use as a theme to color in your bird with. I think I'm going to go with some pinks and purples and reds. 
like warm colors and cool colors. And I'm gonna do this for my head design. Take one of the colors, whatever color you want, and starting at the center, right where this beak is, we're gonna be drawing lines that go from the beak out to the outside of the head. If there's eyes or beak in the way, we don't want to color on top of those, we wanna color around them. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my, my pencil, and I'm gonna draw a line that goes out, and I'm gonna keep drawing lines that start in the middle here and that go out. This looks kind of funny, but it's going to make sense. Now, if I run into the eye, I have to skip it, continue on the other side, because I don't want to color inside my eye purple. I want that to be white. All right, I have lines at the top. Now I'm going to still from the beak. That's where my lines are always going to come from right now. So I'm going to have lines that now go underneath the beak. created sort of a circle of lines and textures all around and it's starting to create a shape of almost a head shape but I want to use lines because I want to make it look like feathers we are going to be doing a neck and some other things but we're going to fill this head up so it's not just this one color well, I'm going to go back in with another color maybe a different color and I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to do more lines but I'm going to be using a new color and I'm just going to go on top of and next to the lines that I already did but this time I'm going to use a second color something that's different but remember I planned ahead of time what colors I'm going to use maybe you want to use yellows and oranges or greens and blues or blues and purples think about different color combinations you think might look good together as you do this Okay, I think I'm done with my head. I really filled it up with a lot of lines or textures, and it really looks kind of like fluffy feathers now around my face. And the last thing I'm gonna do before I move on to my neck is I'm going to color in my beak. So I'm gonna choose a color that I think would make a good beak color. I'm gonna go with orange, and I'm just gonna color this in more like I would if it was a coloring book. So I'm just gonna color this one in normal. I'm gonna leave the eyes alone and just leave them white. But if you wanted to, you could take a color and you could color just around the outside edge of the black. Don't color in the whole white. Um, I'll show you what that would look like actually. So you could draw one little line, just like that. One little line right against the black. One little line. I'm not coloring in the whole white part, just one little line. And that'll give it a nice little color to your eye. If you don't want to do that, you could, like I said, leave a black and white. All right, let's move on to the neck. All right, here's my bird. And emus have very long, skinny necks. So I did it higher on the page. Remember, I said to draw higher on the page. So I do have lots of room down here to do a nice, long, skinny neck. So my neck could be the same colors I did for my face, or maybe I want to change my colors a little bit. I think I'm going to use a purple crayon since I use purple up here. Just draw my. So what I'm going to do is somewhere near the bottom of this head, I'm going to draw a line that goes down to the end of the page. And then I'm going to give it a gap, maybe like the same width as the beak. And I'm going to draw another line going down. And now I'm going to fill this with texture. And textures are the same thing we just did. I'm going to be using my crayon, color pencil, your marker, whatever it is you used to draw some straight lines. And I'm going to layer them. This time I might add another color in there just to be a little bit different than my head. So I'm gonna do another color on top of it. And see how I started with purple here and then I decided to turn it into blue. And I'm changing to another color. But I'm doing kind of what I did up here with different colors, but I'm using little short marks to make it look a little bit more like feather is filling up the neck here. All right, I'm done with my Edward the Emu 
um, body and head and the last thing to do is maybe add some patterns to the background so if you are happy with the way this is um, you can be done right now if you want to you can also maybe draw a background in your pencil and then color it in maybe you want it to look like your emus outside you want to draw a sun and some clouds and trees maybe you just want to do some patterns some maybe stars or spirals and just have them floating all around whatever you feel like doing is going to be fine I'm going to show you a couple different options um, the first is I'm going to pretend and there's a background so I'm going to draw a horizon line a horizon line is going to make it look like there is a ground in a sky so right around the neck area I'm going to draw a line that goes across the page and I'm going to skip the neck and I'm going to draw on the other side and now it looks like there's a ground here and it's going to look like that that's the sky area so down here on the ground this is where maybe I might have some flowers where I might have some little tufts of grass. This is also where there might be a tree growing from there. So I'm starting the tree down here on the ground. That's the bottom of the tree. I'm gonna erase that line that through the tree. And then maybe I'll have the tree be all nice and puffy, partially going behind my bird so I didn't finish drawing it. And that's where all of the ground things are going to be. And then up here is where stuff that would be in the sky would be. So like a sun, maybe some clouds, maybe other little birds flying in the background. And if I like my background, then I can, again, outline it if I'd like to and then color it in. my finished Edward the Emu inspired um, drawing with a actual finished background. Um, I am going to show you a quick uh, version, quick speed version with um, color pencils. Maybe a different type of background just so you can see some differences and also the eyes are going to be a little bit different as well. So let's watch that real quick. <music> Here we have our finished Edward the Emu inspired drawings. Um, this one you saw earlier in the video I did in crayon and I did a background that looks like a scenery of some sort. This one I did in super speed and I did it with color pencil. The background also has some fun patterns instead of an actual detailed background. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick too a little tiny sample I did in marker so you can see you can use marker as well. Uh, when you're using the marker, you still want to do the same exact movement of the little dashes and you want to make sure you're doing them from the beak. Remember, going from the center out and all the way around the beak. So the beak is your center point. Really important, you're going from the beak. And the neck is also a bunch of lines and dashes. It's real tempting to just color in the whole thing and um, scribble and go in other directions, but you wanna make sure they're all going in the same direction and that you are layering your colors. So, I hope you guys had fun doing this with me. I absolutely cannot wait to see the fun, crazy colors, um, the awesome shapes of your beaks and your heads and all the cool bats you come up with. Um, I cannot wait, so have fun.